So in this video, I want to talk about a plugin that I personally believe doesn't get the love that it deserves. Now with a program like Pro Tools, and most EAWs out there, come full of plugins that sound really good out the box. And one of those plugins is this Avid Channel Strip plugin. Now this is a fantastic channel strip. I understand you got other companies out there emulating classic gear. And if that's your thing, cool. But I want you to know that this is also emulating a piece of gear. It's emulating a System 5 console. If you go on the net right now, you might pick one up for around 30 grand. But guess what? You have a channel strip here and it's fantastic. So before we talk about this channel strip plugin, I'm gonna close it and we have a session here, something that I created right before I decided to record this video. Let's check it out. And one of the things I noticed right away is that piano. So what I want to do, I want to go to the mixer window and I want to solo that kick. I'm also going to solo that bass. Okay, they're not really working together. So what I want to do, I want to create a side chain. Before I created this part of the video, I kind of did it already. So on the kick track, I have a send going to three and four. Then on the channel strip, on the bass track, I have a key input set to bus three. And all that I need to do is go to the side chain tab. I'm gonna turn it on by clicking the little speaker icon. And the source, I'm gonna select it to key. So when I play this back, we're listening to the kick. You might be wondering, why aren't we listening to the bass? Simple reason, because we got this turned on. So if we want to listen to the bass, so if you take a look at side chain over here, every time the kick comes in, you're going to see the indicator. In the side chain tab, there's a couple of different features here. You got filter types, you have on off, and you have this filter frequency. Check it out. For this video, I'm not even gonna mess with that. I'm gonna keep that off. Now I'm gonna go over to the compressor slash limit side and let's see what we come up with. Of course, I'm exaggerating. I want you guys to hear this. There's really no reason to be subtle. So as you can see, this channel strip is a pretty powerful channel strip. It comes with your DAW. Before you go buy any other channel strip, take a look at this one. It is pretty powerful. It has a lot of capabilities. But before I go, I wanna show you something. You have this all tab. You can control everything from here. Instead of going through each individual tab and adjusting everything, and you have every single option you need. 